looking at percentage increase and decrease. If we look at this problem here, the table shows the number of mobile phones sold by a shop in April and in May. Work out the percentage increase in the number of mobile phones sold from April to May. So we're looking at the percentage increase. Well, first of all, let's look at the increase. What's it increased by here? Well, we could do 91, take away 85, and that gives us a difference of 6. I've added 6. So my increase is 6. Okay? But I want my percentage increase. I need to make this into a percentage. Well, it hasn't told me what it's out of yet. It's 6 out of, and it's always out of the original amount. April comes before May, so it's out of 85. Now, how do I change this into a percentage? Well, if you literally put 6 out of 85 onto your calculator, then your calculator will know that that means 6 divided by 85. Okay? And it will give you, if you press the SD button, 0 0.070588, etc. Okay? And to make this into a percentage, have a think of what that would mean. To make into percent, we times by 100, which is 7.0588, which is 7% increase. Okay, so this is an increase of 7%. What we did is we found what the increase was here. In this case, it was 6. We put it, really importantly, over the original amount. Okay, it's always over the original whether you're increasing or decreasing, it's always over the original. Use your calculator to simplify this into a decimal, 6 divided by 85, and then to make it in percentage, as usual, we multiply by 100.